Hi friends, this is Janine Pettit, brand ambassador for Campco and founder of Girl Camper. I'm all set up at the campground here and I'm just unloading my truck and I just took my 20 liter Campco refrigerator out of my truck. I love using it when I'm on a road trip. I love having all of my snacks right handy. I love to be able to pull over in a rest stop and stick to my food plan and not have to buy Stuff that's not good for me, stuff that's expensive, stuff that I really don't want to wait in line for. I love being able to open this up and get my healthy uh, food out of here. But the added bonus for me is once I get to the campground, I bring this out and it switches over from 12 volts. So while I'm driving, it's plugged in 12 volt. And when I get to the campground, I change plugs and I plug in my 110 and I set this up right outside of my RV. What's great about this is many of you know, RV refrigerators do not work like your refrigerator at home. And every time you open an RV fridge to get something out of it, it takes 45 minutes for it to return to its temperature. I love having my go-to things in here, my cheese sticks, my drinks, whatever I most often get out of the fridge so I can get them out of here and not interrupt the flow in my indoor fridge. Also, it, I think it helps keep your RV cleaner. If you're camping with a crowd and you have less people coming and going, you can maintain a little more order in that RV. I have the 20 liter version. This weighs less than 20 pounds. It's very easy for me to carry myself. It will hold 18 12 ounce cans of your favorite beverage. <laughs> But I usually stack in there cheese sticks, um, carrots, some celery, a little rolled up lunch meat. So everything I need can go in here and it's a great way to access your stuff right away. Camco makes this in a couple of different sizes and the bigger you get, the more portable they get. If you get the big one, it comes on wheels and it has a pull handle. So if you are road tripping, and you get to your destination, you could sit that down on the ground and just roll it over to your camper. You don't have to worry about carrying something that's so big. The temperature on these things goes from minus four all the way up to 68 degrees. You could actually use this as a freezer, maybe keep your drink ice in it. If you don't want everybody's hands in the ice that you're gonna put actually in your drink, or you don't want somebody's milk container sitting in ice that you're gonna use later. We have a designated drinking ice cooler when we camp, so maybe you'd like to use it for something like that. This thing has really been a game changer for me. I wanna share with you about the 12 volt. So a lot of people are concerned, if I plug this in in 12 volts in my car, is it gonna drain my battery? I drove down here yesterday and I stayed in a hotel overnight. I kept this plugged in all night long and my car fired right up. Everything was nice and cold. If you were gonna be gone for a day or two, you might wanna take that out and plug it in somewhere. Or if you're really concerned about it or you don't think your battery is good for some reason, unplug it but don't open the lid it will stay cold for so long and then when you're driving again plug it back in but i do keep mine plugged in overnight and i've never had a problem with it one of these things is such an investment in the way we live in our lifestyle when we're out here camping the final thing i want to tell you about this is this gets pulled out at the petted house quite a lot when we're having a party on the back porch and i don't want everybody coming and going out of the kitchen it often gets pulled out at Thanksgiving when I have extra things in here and I wanna keep it on the back porch. So it's one of those great dual purpose items that Campco makes that you can use in your daily life and when you're out there at the campsite. This is Janine Pettit, brand ambassador for Campco and founder of Girl Camper. Get out there and get outside. Campco. Dot net. Dot net. Dot net.